What is up everybody, that's Investing Sensei. So I'm bringing you guys a new update for the Google Sheet scripts that you guys have been requesting. So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what are the major changes and what are the new cool features or any bug fixes. And then we're gonna jump over to the uh, GitHub so you guys can see the new release. And then we're gonna go through the whole process of updating it and then uh, finally getting all these new updates. So this Google Sheet here that I have has the new updates with where I've been testing my changes but before we do get started definitely be sure to drop a big thumbs up on the video so that I know that you guys like these type of videos and that I can continue to add more uh, script functionality and create these videos so definitely drop that as well as drop your in the comment section drop any new ideas that you guys want to see in the scripts because I will be happy to work on uh, as long as I get some free time. But anyways, let's jump into it. So one of the things here, guys, just real quick, you'll see that uh, our basically our monthly income right now is about $244. The reason why is because there's only one account. So if we go over here to holdings, we have only one account, which is actually just our um, M1 Easy Money. So if I jump over, well, I guess if we go over here to settings, we'll want to delete this and I'm going to jump over to personal capital because we want to basically export. I'm basically going to export my easy money M1 account as well as my Roth account. So we should see that increase. And, you know, I guess just an easier one to track is if we look at the annual projected, it's about $2,900. We should see it a lot higher when we add our Roth uh, IRA as well. One of the cool things before we do check this out as well, you'll see that there is a new column called name. This is basically going to have the company name for that uh, ticker. So that is pretty cool. And over here, if we go to settings, we already went ahead and deleted this. I'm going to jump over to personal capital and you guys can see usually the normal workflow was to go to your account. And then once you had that pulled up, then you would go over here to holdings and then you would see this green button, right? So you guys wanted to combine a couple accounts together. So now if we actually go over here, just to dashboard, you can just go to investing holdings and you can uh, actually put all your accounts together or you can mine. I'm going to actually just actually uh, unselect all of them and select my certain ones so i am going to select my two m1 accounts and let it come up so i think that is it guys it's already showing these so if i actually probably scroll to, to the way down we should see a total yes so this is correct this is my uh, two accounts combined. So in your case, you probably won't be seeing this green button, but by the end of this video, you will. So if you click uh, copy holdings, this will copy it into our clipboard, which means that we can jump over to our Google Sheets and then you can just right click, uh, paste special values. And then you just click portfolio tools, update portfolio holdings. If we look at the holdings tab, You'll see all of this gets wiped and it'll get re auto update. We'll re update it. And then if we look at the dashboard, you'll see that our new updates are going to be uh, getting calculated. So this is all our both of our accounts combined. So now you guys can see our projected annual is three thousand four hundred forty two dollars. So that is pretty awesome. You guys have if you guys have multiple accounts, this will do it all for you so definitely make sure you get this new version so let's go ahead and jump over to github so i can show you guys all the exact release updates all right guys so we're here at github and just for anybody that's brand new it's called dividend portfolio tracker i'll have a link in the video description just so you guys can click on that and get to it real quick but if you go over here to the releases if you click on releases and it'll take you out the one we care about is 5.0.0. The reason why I went with 5.0.0 is just so that I could uh, avoid any confusion with the YouTube videos so that in my videos, I could just name it uh, version five, right? And uh, avoid any confusion. But here are the basically the new updates. So there's a new 
Temper Monkey for eToro in case you guys are using eToro uh, for the latest, uh, get latest dividends. Uh, we added some new functionality which allows supports of stocks ending with .de or .ol and so on as well. If you had any conditional logic, uh, this won't clear it anymore. So it'll leave it there. It'll just delete the content of it as well. There's the new column which I showed you guys which is the full company name of the ticker. The other one is just uh, fixing some formatting issues and as well the basically the temper monkey script which will allow you to grab all your account holdings and I just had a little description here for you guys little pictures so that you guys could see uh, what the new changes are so hopefully you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and jump over to my actual uh, Google Sheets that doesn't have the new update. All right, guys, so this is my original Google Sheets that is basically on version, I guess you could call it version four. It doesn't have the new latest changes uh, as well because you could also check out the latest dividends. You'll see that the new column for the company name is not there. So first thing you'll do is you'll go to tools, script editor, and you'll see everything come up and load. You're going to want to basically jump over back to GitHub so that I can show you actually how to get to that uh, point in time. So I believe it's right here. Click on that and then it'll take you. Make sure that it says V5.0.0 .0. and that way you know you're at that point in time. So the main important ones that we want to is if you go to portfolio tool scripts Let's go ahead and update the get latest dividends.js file first. So you can click right here at raw. This will take you back. You're just going to basically control A, well, control A, and then copy. And then you can just go back to the editor, click on the get latest dividends, select everything, delete it, and then just paste. And then uh, you're going to have to say allow, yes. And then, uh, so that one is ready to go. Next one on the list for us, we're gonna go back. We're gonna wait for this to load up a little bit. And then the next one is main.js. Uh, we don't really have to click on raw for this one because it's such a small file. We're just gonna copy these uh, contents here. Copy, and we're gonna go back, copy the main.js. You're gonna copy this, we'll delete it, and then you're just gonna paste it and uh, at that point we should be good which uh, you guys can just ignore this line here because this is what's just a couple changes that I was testing and so that's not important uh, so that should be good there if we go back and we go to populate holdings you'll click raw just Control A and then copy it. So Control C, go back over, click Populate Holdings. We're gonna select everything, Control A, delete it, and then just Control Paste. Uh, and then at that point, we are good to go. You're just gonna save everything, which for me, I'm just doing Control S for saving. And at that point guys we are basically good to go on the Google Sheets side if we go back over here we are gonna need to uh, update our temper monkey scripts but the way that you access that in case you guys are brand new to this you go to the browser at the top right you should see the temper monkey icon if you don't see it click on this little puzzle and then you can see the extensions but on this one we're gonna click on it we're going to say dashboard and then it'll bring up a new tab. Uh, the, basically, you'll see a personal capital holdings getter. This is the one that we care about. This is the one we're going to actually update, which at this point, I already have this one updated. But the way that you would basically do this is that you would go back over to GitHub, temper monkey scripts, and then you're going to click personal capital. You're actually going to click raw, so you're going to make sure that your version says 1.1.0. And then you're going to click raw. And then you're going to control A, copy all of this. And then at this point, you're going to also say control A and delete everything. And then right click, 
paste as plain text and then uh, scroll to the very top and then just save everything so file save and then uh, you should be good to go there uh, so then at that point you should see everything in personal capital uh, you should see a button show up yes so we still see the green button so that means that the script is up to date so once you guys add that to your temper monkey and you already selected the save you should see that show up so we are ready to go over here on the Google Sheets we are also ready to go so if you actually click portfolio tools get latest dividends uh, we should hopefully see everything run and uh, we should hopefully see that new column show up if we did everything correctly so there we go you guys are seeing the new column here and uh, we'll wait for this to run uh, and then at that point we can also go ahead and update our settings so uh, you'll see over here for our uh, portfolio here settings I'm actually gonna just save this off because I don't want to delete this from my basically for my Sunday updates I'm gonna delete this we're gonna jump over to personal capital and I'm gonna copy both of my holdings from uh, M1 so I will get these and we're gonna click done and then we're gonna actually filter everything by alphabetical copy holdings and then we're gonna jump back over right click pay special values and then at this point remember guys we are at $244 or 2936 we go to holdings click portfolio tools update portfolio holdings we should see everything show up with the new uh, basically both accounts merged right so we should see everything higher than 2900 because it is two accounts that we'll be paying together so uh that is basically it for the script uh hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, let me know what you guys uh, see any issues with in the video description not in the video description but in the comment section and as well any new ideas and don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification so you guys are up to date every time i new upload a new video uh, and as well don't forget to support the channel guys smash that like button helps out a lot and i will catch you guys in the next video and i'll see you guys in the comments bye